On today's video, we're gonna tell you all about the 10 most expensive, most luxurious neighborhoods in North Raleigh, North Carolina. So North Raleigh is a giant area of the city of Raleigh where some of the biggest houses have been built or are currently being built. This list is going to be a mix of both new construction and established homes. Best of all, these are all extremely convenient to everywhere in North Raleigh. Plus, you can be at the airport or Research Triangle Park in about 30 minutes from just about any of these neighborhoods. We rank this list in order of the least expensive to the most expensive median sales price over the past two years. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the most expensive neighborhood in North Raleigh that will absolutely blow your mind. First up, we have Stonemore, and Stonemore is an absolutely beautiful neighborhood in North Raleigh just off of Creedmoor Road. The median price for a home in Stonemore lately has been around $1,750,000. Most of the homes in this neighborhood range in size from about 4,000 square feet all the way up to 10,000 plus square feet and the lot sizes range from about one acre to two acres. This is an absolutely stunning neighborhood with really uniquely designed homes from some of the very top builders in our market. Predominantly, these are European styled homes with a lot of character and a lot of really unique features and several of these homes in the neighborhood include private pools. The neighborhood was built in the period between 2002 and 2007 and as far as amenities go in the neighborhood, there's a pool, a playground, and tennis courts. Stonemore is located off of Highway 50 North, which is Creedmoor Road, just past I-540. It's a really great location. You can be just about anywhere in North Raleigh very, very quickly from Stonemore. Next up, we have the Registry at Bailey Farm. This is an absolutely breathtaking neighborhood. It's located near Falls Lake in North Raleigh, and the median home price lately in this neighborhood is a little over $1,750,000. Most of the homes in this neighborhood range between 4,000 and 10,000 square feet, and the lot sizes range from a little over one acre to two and a half acres. One really unique and cool feature of this neighborhood is that the neighborhood tends to be at a bit of a higher elevation when compared to the other neighborhoods in this area. So a lot of homes are perched up really elegantly on the lot, really, really nice. And again, this is very rare in the Raleigh area. Homes in this neighborhood were built between 2003 and 2014 and neighborhood amenities include a clubhouse, community pool, and tennis courts. This neighborhood is located off of Highway 50 North, which is also Creedmoor Road and Norwood Road. It's basically between Creedmoor Road and Six Forks Road, so amazingly great location. Again, you can be just about anywhere in the North Raleigh area and the entire Triangle area in a matter of moments. Next up, we have Faircroft. Faircroft is one of my favorite neighborhoods in North Raleigh. It's right off of Honeycutt Road in Falls of Noose, and it's attached to the much newer Avalair neighborhood that we're gonna be talking about in a bit. The median home price for a home in Faircroft is currently coming in at around $1,820,000. Most of the homes range in size from 3,800 square feet all the way up to 9,400 square feet, and the lots range from about one acre all the way up to a whopping five acres in Faircroft. And one of the things we really like about Faircroft is we recently helped one of our viewers from our YouTube channel here buy a house in Faircroft. They're over the moon excited about this neighborhood and all the friends they've made already in this neighborhood. Great house and we are super excited for them. So homes in this neighborhood were built between 2001 and 2015 and really have a lot of unique features. As far as amenities go, Faircroft has a community pool but I would argue that probably the best amenity that Faircroft has going for it is its location. It's located, as I said, right off of Honeycutt Road and Falls of Noose, and it's just a few minutes from the Lafayette Shopping and Dining District, and also the giant Lifetime Fitness that's just right around the corner. And of course, it's extremely close to everything else in North Raleigh and then beyond. Next up, we have Devon, which is another one of our favorite neighborhoods. So Devon has a phenomenal location. It's located just off of Durant Road near Honeycutt Road. Phenomenal Phenomenal, easy access to just about anywhere in North Raleigh you can imagine. Prices in Devon are currently in the $1.9 million range and sizes of homes go anywhere from 5,000 square feet all the way up to 12,000 square feet. And lot sizes range anywhere from one acre up to three acres. 
Again, as I said, this is one of my absolute favorite neighborhoods. The homes are stately and beautiful, and as far as amenities go, the neighborhood has a community pool. And although there are few of the homes were recently built, the majority of the homes were built in the early 2000s. However, a good number of the homes have been renovated and the owners have installed their own personal pools in the backyards. As far as location goes, you're only about a mile away from a ton of shopping and restaurants. Again, one of the great features of this neighborhood is its location. There's a Starbucks super close by, again, lots of restaurants. You're also very, very close to Interstate 540 and that can take you just about anywhere you need to go in the Triangle area. Next up, we have Chatsworth and Chatsworth Overlook. So Chatsworth and Chatsworth Overlook is an incredible neighborhood nestled in North Raleigh near Falls Lake. Median home price for homes in Chatsworth or Chatsworth Overlook, which is a newer section of the neighborhood, are around $1,950,000. Most of the homes range in size between 4,000 square feet to 14,000 square feet, with most of the lots coming in over an acre. Most of the homes in this neighborhood were built between 1998 and 2013. There's about 85 homes in this neighborhood, with about half of the homes having their own private pool. And there is also a community pool for the entire neighborhood to share. This is a great location, again, near Falls Lake, which means you have plenty of recreational activities nearby and more variation in elevation and a lot of beautiful trees in this neighborhood. This is an established neighborhood, really well built out, lots of mature landscaping and trees, gorgeous neighborhood. It's about an eight minute drive to Whole Foods, Target, and a bunch of restaurants off of Strickland Road like Sassoul Mediterranean, Milton's, and of course, a Starbucks. Next up, we have Northridge, and Northridge is a mega neighborhood that is centered around a golf course with a ton of new construction and established homes as well. Median home price for a home in Northridge is coming in at $2,460,000 currently, and homes in this neighborhood range in size from 4,000 square feet all the way up to an incredible 17,000 square feet. This is one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in all of Raleigh and most certainly in North Raleigh. Homes in this neighborhood started being built in the early 1990s with a lot of teardowns that happened in 2020 through 2024. So you're seeing a dichotomy of some older homes sitting beside a brand new mega home. And there are literally hundreds of homes in this neighborhood. There also has a country club, pool, golf course, and pretty much everything you could want in this neighborhood, which is why of course it's in such hot demand and why so many teardowns are happening in Northridge. Northridge probably has the best location of any of the neighborhoods on this list in terms of having access to restaurants and shopping. Within a five minute drive, you have dozens of restaurants and shopping opportunities, including Winston's Grill, which is one of our favorite restaurants, along with Northside Bistro and Cape Fear Seafood Company. Also within a five minute drive is Lafayette Village. We talked about it a little bit earlier. This is a European themed shopping center with restaurants, shops, and coincidentally where our office is located. By the way, if any of these neighborhoods interest you, please contact us below. We would be most happy to help you find your future dream home or help you build your next home. Next up, we have Norwood Ridge. So Norwood Ridge is a really incredible neighborhood with new construction homes being built right now. It's near Falls Lake in North Raleigh and has some really unique styled homes. As far as pricing goes, the median home price for a home in Norwood Ridge is currently coming in at $2,650,000. And most of the homes in this neighborhood range in size from 6,000 square feet all the way up to 8,000 square feet. This is one of our favorite new construction neighborhoods right now. It's it's very small, but the homes here are absolutely stunning. And some of our favorite builders are building here and the neighborhood has been really, really well received. One great amenity of this neighborhood is that it's a gated community. And by the way, by and large, we have excluded gated communities from this list because it's very difficult for anyone to gain access to those neighborhoods unless you have a real estate agent with you. So this is the one exception to the rule because the gates are currently open with construction going on. The other great amenity of this neighborhood is its location. You're about 10 minutes away from a variety of shopping, dining, and outdoor activities. Can't be beat living in Norwood Ridge. Next up, we have Avalare. And Avalare is one of the premier neighborhoods in the entire triangle that has been built out over the last few years. 
We absolutely love this neighborhood. In fact, we have been helping some of our YouTube clients build a beautiful custom home on literally the very last available lot in this neighborhood. And we are super excited for them to help them go through the process of building their dream home on that lot. So median home price in Avalair over the past two years has come in at $2,850,000. And most homes range in size between 4,000 and 9,000 square feet. And lot sizes come in at anywhere from just over an acre all the way up to 2.6 acres. Again, this is one of our absolute favorite neighborhoods. As I said, it's mostly been built out, although there are a few final remaining new construction opportunities going on. The neighborhood was built between 2017 and now, so that means there are a few resales that are starting to happen in this neighborhood. It's a great opportunity for someone if they absolutely want to be in one of the premier neighborhoods to keep their eyes open because from time to time, a house does come on the market in Avalair. As far as home styles go, most of the homes in Avalair tend to have a more modern feel and most of the homeowners have installed private pools in their backyards. As far as location goes, you really can't beat Avalair. It's just off of Durant Road near Interstate 540 and Falls of Noose, only a five minute drive to that Lafayette Village we talked about earlier, and also a five minute drive to a Starbucks, Harris Teeter, variety of restaurants, pet food store, on and on and on, right close to Avalair. The next neighborhood we need to tell you about is Shadow Creek Estates. This is an extremely popular, extremely high-end neighborhood in North Raleigh, sitting right beside Avalair. And although there's still new construction going on in Shadow Creek Estates, it's selling out very, very quickly. In fact, of the 31 available lots when the neighborhood first got started, 17 were reserved or paid for by future owners before they even broke ground on the very first house. It was an incredibly successful project for the team that has put this together and another unique spin on this neighborhood is the builder is the developer and there's only one builder in the entire neighborhood. They're one of our top builders in the market, bar none. Again, this is an amazing, amazing neighborhood. And of course it has amazing prices to show for it. Currently the median home price for a home in Shadow Creek Estates is coming in at $4,565,000. Homes range anywhere between 5,000 square feet to well over 10,000 square feet in this neighborhood. And lot sizes range anywhere from an acre to two and a quarter acres. And homes in this neighborhood, again, because it's new construction and is still going on, started in 2022 and is going to continue on for a couple more years. And while there are no neighborhood amenities in Shadow Creek, all of the lots are big enough to support a pool and most of the owners installed their own private pools in their backyards prior to moving in. And so as far as location goes, again, Shadow Creek Estate sits right beside Avalair right on Durant Road near the intersection of Durant Road and Honeycutt Road, right off of Falls of Noose and 540. So you really can't find a better location than Shadow Creek Estates and that is why this neighborhood has been in such hot demand. So if you're interested in any of these neighborhoods or really any home in the Raleigh area, give us a call, we'll be happy to help. Check out this video, we think you're really gonna like this one as well. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye-bye.